Storm teammates Ellen Baca outside in Grand Rapids tonight, and Ellen, walk us through this flash freeze headed our way. So the only other time we use the word flash really is for flash flooding, and that means flooding that happens really rapidly. So with a flash freeze, it's kind of the same concept. We're going to be seeing that freezing condition take hold really quickly. So outside right now, you can definitely see the signs of melt. It looks like a river practically behind me as this water runs down the pavement. And you'll notice that it's been good for our trees because it's starting to shake some of the ice from them, which is great news. But any ice that isn't bounced from the branches here in the next few hours is going to refreeze onto the trees because of that rapid drop in temperature. So let me show you what we're talking about here and how it's going to be dropping with time. Temperatures that are in the 40s and the 30s now are going to be transitioning down to the mid 30s by 9 and then quickly dropping below freezing once we get to 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. So if you're traveling, that's the time frame that you're really going to have to watch a lot of those puddles, side roads, and then again, the trees, especially the trees that haven't been able to shake the ice. You'll notice temperatures continue to plummet into tomorrow, so that means anything that freezes is going to stay frozen. As Bill mentioned, the wind is also an issue because that could knock down trees.